Hello everyone, I'm Nicola Giso and today I will show you a random number of lessons I learned as a data scientist in five years in the industry. Why a random number instead of a fixed one? Because five lessons in five years will be too cliche and I have many more lessons I will learn. But first let me introduce myself. I'm a data scientist in the steel industry and besides programming and machine learning, I love reading good books and making memes. And that's why all the other slides in this uh, deck are basically memes. First lesson that I learned is that data don't live in tidy files. In tutorials, the data are ready for analysis and everything is basically perfect. In reality, you will find data with a bunch of anomalies like area with negative values or time stamp that are really weird and you have to come up with a solution to use this data and often you have to build the data set by yourself pulling information from different sources and these sources can be really different and also one that you couldn't expect like pdf that were from where you have to extract tables or maybe some obscure file format. To analyze this data, a great tool are notebooks, and they're also really good for uh, making reports and prototyping, but they can be hard to use in a production environment in data pipelines. That's why you should use those notebooks moderately in these uh, uh, scenarios. And it's always important to start from easy models and with easy, I mean something like linear models instead of going with really sophisticated models. That's because a easy model can give you insights about the data. And also sometimes it's the case that the model is good enough for your goal with the added benefit in the case of linear regression of explainable coefficients and even if you decide to go with a full-fledged neural network having a baseline to compare with it's uh, a nice to have and it's also very important to understand what stakeholders really want you maybe want to uh, show that you are a great data scientist and can make incredible uh, models but sometimes what your customer and stakeholders really want uh, are and need are some reports or maybe plots or even the uh, computation of stand statistics. At the end, you have to bring value to people and not show off your skill. So remember to bring value, uh, also doing stuff that are really related to data science. And another important point is the very important uh, component that is domain knowledge in data science because we often forget about it thinking about the fact that the data and algorithms are everything but indeed having a good knowledge of the uh, processes and people uh, that generate the data are very important and if uh, you have some expert to which you can talk to definitely do it. You will learn a lot of stuff and you can increase a lot the performance of your model. And what about plots? Uh, they are a great way to convey the information to other people, but you have to remember some details that sometimes you could forget. It happens sometimes to me, like writing a really self-explanatory title. Maybe you just save the the plot without a meaningful title and then another person has to figure out what it is and you have to talk about it. Instead, the plot should be uh, understandable by itself. Then don't forget legends, labels and also uh, unit of measures. And if you learn something new or have to follow a procedure or you stumble on an issue and find a solution to it, write it down. Don't say I will remember this because that will not happen. And if you decide to share your uh, new knowledge with other pe people with a blog post, you will not just your uh, future self will benefit from it, but maybe a random stranger on the internet. And if you want to read some of my posts, you can find them on nicologizo.com. 
And if you want to contact me, you can find me on LinkedIn, GitHub, and Twitter. Thank you for your attention and have a great NormConf.